Guys, the, the Borg are hanging out in this nebula, holding on to map position, but and making good use of that nebula, so uh, the Klingons not able to really engage them too much. But Boggs really getting Painter hard here, going to lose a number of ships, if not most of this fleet. Um, if nothing else, that is going to tell the bottom team where the top team's armies are, uh, their fleets are, and what what kind of position they are. So the um, so Dur and Stardust tying up uh, Boggs and Siren uh, with Siren uh, Siren's army hanging out in over here in the wormhole and making a run onto Stardust's base. So that is going to end up putting, making an economic hit on them. So if she can pop in, take a couple of these guys out, uh, you can see in the uh, Kitch Cell White going out, looks like they're going to take that out. Boggs' fleet getting uh, slaughtered, and so Stardust not going to be able to uh, defend this. He's looking to decom that, and uh, this is going to end up putting some pressure to move the Stardust's fleet out of the way, but um, Boggs having to push back, and here goes a Canaveral looking to throw up a um, sensor blackout really soon, expecting that any point in time there's a phaser platform out, giving a little bit of extra defense, but the um, Romulan ships, there goes the uh, sensor blackout. Um, Boggs trying to put up some defensive positions, over here, the Klingons are making a move onto uh, Big Mac's base. Big Mac hanging out into the in the nebula, trying to salvage some of his uh, ships. Over here in the right, you can see Boggs on a number of sensor blackouts going on. Um, and here comes Siren coming into the Boggs' aid. And so, able to take out a couple of these Spectre refits. Uh, Dur getting chased off, uh, as well as Stardust. Their numbers slowly getting dwindled, and very nice timing by Siren, helping out Boggs there. Bottom team able to... Now, the, the question is whether they're going to be able to send out a sensor ping. And it looks like the sensor tech is not up yet. So, very nicely coordinated attack by the top team. Good coordination on the bottom team by Siren and Boggs, able to not give up v much map space um, and surprisingly not losing as many vessels as someone else. Siren over here, um, well, actually, Siren getting called to help a bit with the left hand side. So you can see, oh, okay, and Big Mac pulling out a sphere, and this is actually going to turn the tide a little bit. You can see these Quebec class, there's plenty in numbers. It's the Seuss's class, Tempest, playing as Mortok with these Seuss's. These Seuss's are straight torpedo ships, very good against Borg. Um, Borg probably feeling a little bit of uh, economic crunch here. Nonetheless, able to move into a second dilithium moon, going to give them basically what they need as far as the uh, dilithium mix. However, they're and they're actually moving in on a third dilithium moon. So as far as um, Big Mac's economy, he's got three dilithium and one trita uh, tritanium, and. Um, Trying to move in on a second Tritanium, whereas his uh, opposing opponent is sitting on three Dilithium Moons as well as well as an easy two Tritaniums. So you can see a little bit of scouting um, intel from the Klingons as the as Big Mac and Siren are amassing a bit of a fleet, looking to take on the Klingons, who's got a a large portion of their fleet hanging out here on their uh, edge most expansion this could be a decisive battle if this combined force can do a uh, get sufficient numbers of kills off of this fleet then this will be a successful raid by the bottom team you can see that um, siren now sporting a c11 in her mix um, 
this these bugs are very good against are going to be probably the best counter against these um, Susas as the Susas are torp ships the bugs are going to take about a 60% dodge chance on that and they will be a good counter for those Susas however we can see that the Q Dodge class is out as well uh, and it is not quite ready with its Polaron field uh, which would be the special of choice for this vessel However, it is it does have its ionizing torpedo, which does um, a decent amount will disable a potent one subsystem. So, and here comes a second sphere. So now, Big Mac, having been pressured a large amount of the game. Okay, we're gonna move over here into the right hand side, where the uh, Federation are pressuring with a, a small f uh, strike force of. Well, probably only five ships popping in, taking out a mining vessel, uh, keeping Stardust in uh, engaged, and keeping him off of the teammates. Now, however, the Romulans and the Dominion of the top team are are gathering together a large strike force, just like the bottom team. As we can see, the blue and purple are uh, the purple and the green are moving in very much. Moving in on the, the force, and this is going to burn a lot of Klingon ships. And the question is, as the uh, the uh, Romulan and the Dominion move in out of the wormhole, this is actually going to change the mix. It's going to be a three on one. So <laughs> here comes the uh, uh, the C11 making its way into. Here comes. Tempest is taking damages left and right, but this uh, heavy weapons platform doing a lot of damage. However, Pizza Move coming in on the back. Stardust, followed by the Rhymus Durr, are moving in on the Borg position. And this is going to end up pincering the Borg and Siren. So. Big Mac and Siren in a bit of a position here. However, they can still make use of this Nebula. Wow, and you can see Stardust's bugs all focusing fire on single ships, taking them out. Wow, and there goes a couple of scout cubes and the Borg making a run for the Nebula. Very much in the favor of the um, these spheres who uh, look to be regen torpedo ships. Now these scout cubes need to... Watch out. So somehow Siren being able to make his way around. However, the Romulans, Durr, fielding a nasty fleet of Spectre refits. The Borg hanging out on the outside, able to, well, not going to be able to see out, but nonetheless, if they can dance around, they can dance around uh, scouting outside, they're going to be able to make use of the shielding or the uh, implicit shielding of this nebula. So here goes Boggs over on the right-hand side, taking advantage of the fact that uh, Stardust's army is, is all the way across the map. So basically trading bases, effectively. The Klingons looking like they made off with decent, um, decent uh, exchanges for their armies and Big Mac. Not in the, not in the green as far as his army goes. So we need to be seeing an another ship by um, Big Mac, otherwise he's going to end up getting steamrolled here. So here comes the Federation taking out this forward expansion of Stardust. Box making use of his fleet position, and here comes the remaining of Stardust's uh, fleet of bugs. This is potentially a bad matchup for uh, Stardust. The numbers could potentially be on uh, Boggs's side. Um, he does have superior uh, firepower, I think, with his Akira's getting some extra. Uh, their defense pattern, the steam runner getting steamrolled. Here's this one poor intrepid with no weapons, and the bugs making away with this Canaveral. However, at the same time, the Federation are focusing down on these individual ships and taking them out, able to 
not quite able to get into the construction yard to repair. The bottom team here making a lot of headway on this.